So the, uh, the Euro Mediterranean Assembly is the only assembly that includes uh, both Israel and also representatives from Palestine. What role do you see for this assembly in the peace process? I think the best uh, thing to have this meeting, the best results of these meetings, first of all to know each other and then uh, how to work in the, the procedure and how to work in the peace process. We sometimes find, found ourselves uh, that we are alone. Uh, we are the only uh, Israeli Jewish uh, state in the region, and we saw that the Europeans take care for themselves, the Arab countries take the, 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 the take care for themselves, and Israel is still alone. But on the other side, we uh, have a lot of cooperation, uh, not in the uh, uh, the uh, field of uh, existence and the field of peace, but in the field of uh, uh, environment and uh, the problems of uh, what the world and the Middle East and the Mediterranean suffer from. But at the, at the end of the day, the best way to explain what every country in the Mediterranean and in, the Euro in Europe can understand each other, this is the way to make this uh, meetings and to make this assembly. So you must be very pleased with the plans in the European Union to improve and to deepen cooperation with Mediterranean countries? Uh, of course, because if we will look for the future, they, uh, you know the main problems, that the problems of the immigration from the south to the European countries, the Middle East, uh, the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, uh, the other uh, uh, threat of the terror in the region. We are talking about the extremists in Gaza Strip, the extremists in the Arab world, uh, Al-Qaeda, and the other who are uh, causing the terror against uh, Europeans, against the countries in the, in the region. Uh, even, I hope, in the future we will also uh, have the ability to deal of the Iranian uh, nuclear weapon and the uh, Iranian uh, threat not only to the countries of the Middle East but uh, the real uh, threat to the European countries because they are producing missiles for 2,000 and 2,500 kilometers uh, for uh, to reach Israel and Egypt and the other countries it's not it's no need for 2,500 kilometers missiles. Uh, but if we can conclude, I think the, uh, the uh, Euromed, uh, it's an assembly that try to uh, get a more understanding between the countries, but we still to work very hard in order to achieve results of this, uh, these issues between uh, the South and the North. What, what do you think needs to be done concretely? At the moment we have basically one assembly meeting a year, some committee meetings along the lines. Do you think it should mo meet more often? Should it be uh, formalized as a creation? First of all, we should uh, look, uh, deal with the issues in order to solve the, the problems, not only to deal with and uh, to be objectives when you are dealing in, uh, in issues. Because sometimes uh, you need the... Uh, uh, the agreements and the, the, all the uh, solutions be in the existence and the, not in the, in the uh, uh, results of uh, uh, exception of all uh, what we call consensus. But sometimes we found ourselves uh, without a real consensus. And uh, some of the membership of the Euromed use this assembly in order uh, to uh, uh, defend their agenda, their political agenda, and their uh, agenda at all. Uh, and uh, you know, when you see countries talk about the human rights and they are not uh, keeping the human rights, it's a problem. When you are t seeing people talk about occupation and they themselves uh, occupied uh, other countries and other territories, this is not uh, the, the situation, uh, and uh, that means some of the countries use this assembly for their interests, and others uh, and, uh, still to work hard in order to, to find this uh, Euromed assembly 
objective in dealing in all the issues that bothering the people of Europe and the Mediterranean.